Day 27 of the Tophet Campaign, or Operation Shake and Bake as the troopers call it. In the Great Bug War, each squad worked together as a team. Sword, I'm open. Every trooper had a role to play. At least, that's what the Psycon recruiting poster had said. Yeah, all right! That's illegal use of the head, brain boy! <laughs> Trust me, Sarge. It doesn't take a psychic to read a mind like yours. <laughs> <laughs> Huddle up, Roughnecks. New game plan. Jigsaw Pass, 80 clicks southwest. It's the main supply artery between bug armies on either side of the mountains. psycon has been trying to take it for weeks. Airstrike? Not an option. Command wants to use the pass to move our own troops. They won't risk turning it into a rock pile. So what's the op, LT? We follow this path through the range until it dumps us out into the bug's backyard. Then, clean out anything that crawls. Sector sounds hot, sir. Affirmative. That's why Psycon sent us a little help. <sighs> Another nose to wipe. Not exactly. Tin can with legs. A cybernetic humanoid assault system. A cybernetic humanoid assault system. Titanium reinforced superstructure. And the firepower of an entire squad. Totally autonomous. Its primary processor runs on a bio-enhanced logic matrix. How about in English, Goss? Its CPU is a learning computer. Its cognitive skills are human-like. Oh. Looks like we're all out of a job. How long does it stay fresh in that? What's it made out of plastic? Can the chatter! Is it on? I am fully operational, Lieutenant Gene Razak. Serial number JR902441. Decorated for meritorious service ten times. Bruto, Francis, Sergeant. Serial Francis? number FB Don't nobody say a word. All right, sweetie pie. We know who we are. Do you have a name? Registration number 102261JLP, Sirius I don't Vader. know what it's called. We all are a bit skeptical about this piece of hardware, but it has been assigned to our squad, and we will deal with it. Understood, Roughnecks? Sir, yes, sir! We move out at 0430. I suggest you apes grab some sack time. In case you forgot, we have a war to win. Lieutenant Razak, I have no need for rest. Therefore, I volunteer to stand watch. A machine programmed to kiss butt. What will they think of next? Very well. Private Flores will relieve you at 0100. Dismissed. Uh. Rough next! Take five. Jenkins, on point when we move out. Your decision is ill-advised, Lieutenant. 
My power supply, motor reflexes, optical and auditory sensors are all far superior to any human. I am not in the habit of having my orders questioned by anyone or anything. Now fall back and take up the rear, soldier. <laughs> not very smart for a computer. Private Higgins, your lack of training is impeding the squad's progress. Thanks for the encouragement. Why don't you just go on ahead? I cannot break formation. Higgins, you and that jump pile better get it in gear, or we're leaving you behind as bug bait! Uh, yeah, yeah. Earthquake! Saved my life, Rico. Self-preservation. You would have knocked the thing off the cliff. It's a machine, not a trooper. Um, thanks. I, I don't know what to say. Hi, how you doing? I am functioning within acceptable parameters. Well, it might be acceptable to you, but the rest of the squad seems to think you're running a little low on social skills. That does not hinder the performance of my duties. You know. A squad is a team. And if you're not on the team, you're on your own. Trust me, I know. Well, first off, you need a name, not, not a registration number. Um, it'll humanize you. Cybernetic Humanoid Assault System, C-H-A-S. Chaz, what do you think? I have no opinion. You also have to learn to talk like an ape. You need to start learning the lingo. For example, troopers don't retreat, they beat feet. Striking one's pedal extremities would cause injury, making escape impossible. <sighs> Carl, are you okay? Bugs! We're surrounded! Einstein's fried a fuse. This time, I think the kid may be right. Stay back. Good tip. What kind of bug is that? Entomological classification, Coleoptera vulgaris, commonly called a toffet blaster bug. The insect draws heat from its surroundings to ignite a biochemical reaction in its prothorax, releasing an energy wave with a fluctuation. Don't mean to break up the biology lecture, but we got bugs at 12 o'clock. Six o'clock, too. Time sure flies when you're having fun. Flores, Gossip, Jenkins, cover our flank. Bruno, Doc, take down the warriors in front. Rico, with me. Where are you going? Not bad, for a tin can. Tougher than an MI drill sergeant. More poised than the most seasoned vet. The cybernetic humanoid assault system, or Chaz as he is known to his squadmates, is Psycon's Trooper of Tomorrow. 
So much for truth in broadcasting. If I didn't know better, Johnny Rico, I'd say you were jealous. He is quite a specimen. Tall, dark, and aluminum. Lieutenant, you better have a look-see. Think anybody's home, sir? Better organize a welcome wagon, just to be sure. Lieutenant Razak, your caution is unnecessary. Fleet bombed this village 33 hours ago, with a likelihood of enemy survival at less than 9%. Well, my gut tells me there's something down there. But internal organs cannot speak. Sorry, Wirehead. Instincts can't be downloaded. Lieutenant Razak, there is no enemy presence. I volunteered to scout ahead. Jenkins, you're up. Light him up. Get Jenkins! Goss, constrictor solvent! On three. One. Two. Three! Straight jacket. Not my size. God. Rule number one Troopers take care of their own. I violated no regulations. Regulations? We're talking about a trooper's life! Tell him, man. Pausing to assist Trooper Jenkins would have required an extra 12.25 seconds. During any operation, there are acceptable losses. You just don't get it, do you? And you never will, because you are a machine. Yeah, he's right. That's right, man. I'm with him. Stand down. Now, you. Finish the sweep of the village. Sir, that machine is gonna get us all greased, one way or another. It was a mistake, sir. He, he probably just needs a chance to learn. If we live long enough for it to get its diploma. When we return to base camp, my recommendation will be that the cyborg be deactivated. But, sir... Case closed. That glorified toaster makes one more wrong move, I'll pull in his plug myself. Alert. Defensive systems operational. Intel says the bug to trooper ratio in the past could be as high as 10 to 1. Lieutenant Razak, I will analyze the situation and project an acceptable casualty rate. Acceptable to who? Chaz, a trooper is not a statistic. Losses are never acceptable. This crack will dump us smack into Bug Central. Then we secure the area. Read me rough next! Oh! So much for technical superiority. Enemy alert. Attack systems armed. What? Bringing up the rear, it is your responsibility to be alert to enemy activity.
Jigsaw Pass is just the other side of this field. Stop. My sensors indicate that this is a trap. We are in danger. Really? I thought those nice bugs just wanted to play patty cake. A minefield. Skinnies have mines? They must have modified some of their gas demolition devices. So we use scanners. Skinnies aren't big on metal parts. The mines won't show up. Uh, what about grenades? Set them off, clear a path? We set off one, might start a chain reaction, and then boom, boom, boom! Goodbye, troopers. Think fast. Company's coming. Freeze, Frankenstein! You're not going anywhere without us. Wait, Rico! He must have a plan. Yeah, saving its own iron butt. Rico, little help here? We need an exit plan. Jack! What's it doing? Marking a path through the minefield. Welcome back. My olfactory sensors were able to detect the gas pockets. I cut a coolant mine to create a trail for the squad to follow. I suggest we... beat feet, sir. Move out, apes! And stay on the path! Can you defuse it? Negative. The trigger is pressure sensitive. Without weight displacement, the mine will detonate. Get out of here, or we're both dead. I was never alive. <laughs> You're right, Private Higgins. Some losses are not acceptable. <laughs> I will cover your retreat. job to do. With the mobile infantry gaining control of Jigsaw Pass, 
the bug army was split in two. Officially, Alpha Squad suffered zero casualties on this op. But that day, every roughneck knew they'd lost one of their own. Ultimately, somebody at high command determined that cyborgs weren't cost-effective. Good thing troopers come cheap.